All right, in this video, I'm going over the comprehension questions for building green. Number one, what does the term building green mean? So if you say you're building green, what are you doing? Well, building green, we know from the text, means that you're building a home that is environmentally friendly, meaning you're using resources that are going to cut down on the amount of energy the house needs to use, you're using uh, resources that are easily renewable. Okay. Number two, what makes the building techniques described in this article environmentally friendly? They use renewable or recycled resources. That's one way. Um, they, use ener they make energy efficient homes that rely on less that rely less on non-renewable sources of energy. So they make them more uh, um, energy efficient as well. Okay, number three, if you're building a greenhouse, which building technique would you want to use and why? Now again, this is gonna be your own opinion, so you wanna go back through the text, look at some of the different building techniques that they use Think about um, John Picard's metal cube home, the straw houses, um, the solar powered house in Germany, some of those examples. Which one, which type of uh, house would you want? And then give reasoning why and use evidence from the text. So you would say something like, you know, I would want the, a house that is completely solar powered because, and then mention something that the solar powered house in Germany does that you thought was really cool. Okay, number four, sources of energy on page 668 outlines the consequences of relying on non-renewable energy sources. How do the people in building green avoid these draw drawbacks? So they avoid the drawbacks by not using them. They rely f far less on non-renewable resources and they use re uh, renewable resources, okay? Like the straw house, for example. Straw can be regrown very quickly and easily, okay? They also rely on better insulation and solar energy as well as opposed to using fossil fuels to create their electricity. All right, so those are a few reasons um, how the people, in, or a few ways the people in Building Green avoid the drawbacks of relying on non-renewable energy sources. All right, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.